Welcome back to the shop everybody. Today we are finally going to be putting these pieces of wood around the curve on the front of the trailer. So I have done a little bit of pre-setup work here. I screwed together two of those boards for the top there. They're not screwed into the sides yet so I still need to do that. I also got my tool set up here on what I think I will need. I still got to grab the screws for the uh, edges though and other than that I am ready to try to tackle this. It's definitely a two person job but I got to make it work and just like the rest of the trailer, well just about the rest of the trailer, we'll get her figured out. All right, there we go guys. We've got the inner panel glued, nailed, and screwed in place. As you can see here, it actually wasn't as bad as I thought that it was going to be. Definitely would have been helpful to have somebody else's hands here to help me, as well as eyes for the inside. And so far it's not too bad but there is a little bit of an issue but i think i know how to take care of it now dark enough in here that i had to put a light in so as you guys can see here it is all pretty much nice and tight all the way up against on both sides this seam here is nice and close right where i wanted it to be right because the less gap the less issues however this one over here not so lucky and this is the part that it would have came in having somebody else's eyes to tell me that I needed to butt up closer to there. Now, as you can see right here, there's nothing to nail that piece to right there. So what I think I'm going to end up having to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to nail all the way across and I'm going to work my way up on this one. So that hopefully that'll close that gap a little bit. And I'll of course nail across on this one as well. All right, so unfortunately when I went over to the other side, there was a few that missed the board all together. So I went ahead and knocked them in and just restapled those. But as you guys can see here, that did not get me much extra wood for the top gap here. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just add on a little board right here so that I have something to nail this top piece to. And just like that, I've got that piece all the way across with this stapled on up there as well. I realized while I was in there that I forgot to staple this one, this bottom one here, and it is now stapled as well. Originally, I was gonna call it a day at getting the inside wall done. However, as you can see up here, I actually have the insulation mostly cut from this side all the way over. But it's not cut properly to length this way because I need to take these scrap pieces of wood here mark out where each joist is, cut them so that the inside piece can be glued to the inside wall. And what that basically is doing is adding a little more strength to the outer wall as well. See, I have a clamp and a piece of wood for each spot that goes in between. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna go ahead and glue these together like that. And I'm just going to line it up to the outer wall here. And that's because this is what I'll be stapling to or screwing the outer skin for the roof to. 
So they need to be flush with that to give it a nice strong joint. All right, now that I've got those gluing, I'm gonna go ahead and measure it out and cut those to the proper width. That way I can just shove those in there and take the clamps off. All right, so these clamps are actually moving the little pieces of wood that I'm putting in. So I'm actually going to go ahead and nail them in place. And that's what you're hearing right now is my air compressor. I want to go ahead and let that glue dry as well as the glue that ended up on the floor and all over wood places and it's that PL premium guys it, it's messy so be very careful with it I've already ruined one pair of pants with it and I'm not looking forward to ruining another so and so hopefully on the next video guys I will be cutting or I guess I should say melting the foam where the wires get ran and that should be pretty interesting to see how well that goes or how badly it goes so yeah guys I'm actually really happy about where I got to today because we're getting closer each video and the next few videos will be hopefully running wires getting some of the electrical figured out as well as maybe even getting this thing mobile and on the trailer once we get it on the trailer, then we'll be able to do things like figure out where the fenders are exactly going, as well as finishing up the exterior of this trailer. So I really hope that you guys will go ahead and subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell so you're notified whenever I do put out an update. Sometimes there's a little bit of distance in between them. So make sure that you hit that as well. And of course, I can't forget that if you're thinking about building one of these yourself, please make sure that you check out my resources that I have listed below, as well as buying some of the tools that I have used to build this trailer so far. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, you all have a good one.